listen to it. Mirror, mirror the reflection of the Good morning everybody, I hope you are all doing well. Um, I thought, well, I feel like these kind of merch journey videos that I'm doing feel a little bit vloggy, so I thought that I would just do a little bit of vlogging. So I'm really taking today as like a merch day because I need to practice like cutting out my stickers, I need to try cutting out some vinyls, practicing some heat pressing, so I'm gonna do it on this jumper. This one's gonna be mine, this one's mine, and um, I'm gonna kind of be doing all like, the test printing on this one and then hopefully everything else will be nice and perfect for you guys or whoever's gonna be buying these uh, buying these products. So um, yeah, really, really excited. I'm just gonna try and dedicate as much time as I can today to perfecting everything, getting everything prepped because I might launch on Friday. Am I even ready to launch on Friday? I don't know, maybe next Friday. Um, yeah, we'll see. So now I'm just gonna head over to my local Aldi or is it a Lidl? Either one. I never seem to remember which one it is. Um, you know, just because we can afford to buy avocados doesn't mean we buy avocados every single day. I do this all the time. I don't know. I come into the store and I then forget everything that was on my list because I'm so distracted by all of the extra stuff. Um, oh, wine. Um, but my next trading session is in an hour. So I need to kind of wrap this up fairly quickly and get back home. So I'm gonna head over to Bridges. Let's go. Oh, actually, let me do candles first. I really needed some new candles. We're gonna do this now. So just got back, did not get the candles. There weren't really any, but I did buy um, a couple of things that weren't really on the list, but you know, beauty calls. Um, picked up a little coaster on the way home. I was gonna chat and talk with, my, with McCarthy on the way home, but um, my bag was so heavy and actually, <laughs> I actually need to unpack my food shopping because I've got lots of frozen stuff, making lots of smoothies and things like that just to keep me going throughout the day. It, it's really bad actually because I, I really am a grazer, like I will eat continuously throughout the day, uh, which is fine by me because I have a really big appetite, so um, it doesn't really bother me too much. So I find that having smoothies and stuff throughout the day with like oats in um, really helps to kind of curb my hunger cravings. But um, I've just got a Zoom call now, just having some trader psychology training with my mentor. Um, so I'm gonna jump onto that now. Guys, put number one, one, one if you got value from that. Put number one, one, one if you got value from what you've just seen. Let me know who I'm talking to. Who got value from what they just saw? I'm seeing Zara, I'm seeing Alex. Jeez! I just got a message from Courtney. Those of you who have been on our Zoom calls, you know who Courtney is, or you've seen that one episode on TCTV, lol. Um, she's just sent us a message saying that Bitcoin is doing bits, so let's take a look at what's happening now. I'm um, just gonna jump onto my trading view. Woo! I'm actually really liking what I'm seeing here, which is so funny because all of the kind of, the pump and dump traders, the in and out men, did I just say that? All of the traders who are coming in to try and make a quick buck, um, it, they're going to be freaking out because we have seen this pretty big drop. What's the date today? It is the 20th, but this drop happened, oh, this was on the, on the 18th of April. So price really dropped on the 18th of April around four in the morning. Um, and apparently something to do with like bans and things like that from governments. I haven't looked into anything at the minute. I've been really busy filming. So um, I need to go and do some fundamentals super quick. Um, and we've been seeing um, a very steady drop after that after that time. But a lot of people would have sold because they're freaking out about losing more of their Bitcoin. Whereas me, I'm like, okay, so there are more opportunities to buy here. Um, it's so funny because that point where it dropped was my most, re well, was my one of my last points of interest to buy and I'd already purchased at that level. So if you guys are on your chart right now and you can see that super long wick, yeesh! That was actually the bottom of that wick was my point of entry back on the 25th of March, that was where, so you can see, if you go back in time, that was my point of entry, 
um, back on the 25th of March for a very particular reason. And you know, this is always say, the, the charts repeat themselves, the clues are in the candlesticks, guys. For me, what am I gonna do now? I am a hodler, as you guys know. Oh, my washing in the back there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna let it sit and do its thing. Um, when am I gonna be buying more? Uh, when it comes down to that level again. Every time it hits a point of previous entry, I go in again and I go in again and I go in again. I'm continually compounding, I'm continually stockpiling. Um, you know, that's, that is the way to play this Bitcoin game. So let's go. If you have not grown your trading account, there's an internal problem. It's because there's a limiting belief system. I was speaking to someone yesterday and I said something and I said, you don't believe you're worthy of the money you're going to make. Bars. Jessica Walker says bars. You don't believe you're worthy of the money you're going to make. You see, this is, this is more than just, oh, okay, I'm going to give you strategies or tips or techniques. This is about changing your psych, your mind. Because I promise you this, unless you begin to work on your mind as well as, as well, as well as the strategies, you will forever be on a 0 0.01. Who am I talking to? out on my floor here quite a bit i really hate kind of sitting up at a desk i really am a floor person i think that's probably because i'm a dancer yeah i was supposed to be doing more merch stuff the other day when i was filming but got completely side hooked but i got completely like right hooked um i had loads of things that just like randomly came up so i think merch day is gonna have to be like thursdays and fridays um and hopefully i'm planning on releasing the merchandise Hopefully by next Friday, that is my plan. That is the plan. Um, we'll see how much I get done over the weekend. I actually need to launch the shop on the Trade Creators website and actually make the Trade Creators website a lot more usable because it's trash right now. Literally don't at me, I know, I know, I know. So yeah, a lot to do, a lot to do. But it's hard when you're taking care of 50 trader babies. It's hard. I'm doing as best I can. So small, steady steps and i'm trying really hard not to get ahead of myself with nfts mm, i'm just gonna do this first let's do the merchandise first let's get it out there let's get it rolling let's get it out to you guys and then um we can start looking at nfts okay but please believe i have got things in the pipeline so what i'm going to do today is actually make my thank you cards which are going to go into the packages um when you guys buy the merch so um and what i'm gonna do is put a little easter egg on them as well so those of you who do end up getting the merch you will receive the thank you card which will have the easter egg yeah know that there are exciting little things coming in each in each um package that i send out which is really fun so i've got my tea because i'm trying to cut down on coffee this is just a what is this like a herbal tea. I drink so much coffee these days, so I'm really trying to like cut back. Let's go. I'm gonna be using Photoshop to design my thank you cards, and then I'm gonna use Vistaprint, I think, to just get it out there. They've got really affordable printing and postage, so I'm gonna go with that. And uh, yeah, let's go. So what I'm doing at the moment, I love how I was gonna keep it a secret, and I just can't keep secrets, so uh, I'm gonna tell you guys anyway. Um, so what I'm doing right now is creating a special uh, calendar page on my website so that anybody who then buys the merch will receive the thank you card and you can scan the QR code and book a one-to-one -one slot with me so you can actually ask me a question um, and then these questions will then be featured on the Trade Creators podcast. So really, really exciting. So for anybody, I guess this is kind of acting like an NFT, I guess, in its own weird like non-digital way. Um, so anybody who does actually purchase the merch is also getting themselves a one-to-one -one with me where you can ask a question, uh, which should be fun. Trading related, business related, life related, who knows. 
um, but the option is there for anybody who does want to um, have a chat with me and be featured on the podcast which would be really cool so if you want to promote anything yourself get your stuff together um, because you know we're going to be sharing we'll talk all about it um, once you scan in your QR code and book your time slot with me I wasn't sure how to create a QR code. Um, I was doing a little bit of research, but actually it's so simple. You can do it just on the Wix website. Hmm. Living on a main road in the middle of London, not really ideal. Yeah, you can actually create a QR code on the Wix website, literally in like two seconds. And then you just take the PNG file and, um, and save it. So that was a lot easier than I thought. So let's do this right now. Listen to your heart, mirror, mirror, the reflection of the light. 